What's up guys, Kaidom here, and this is the uh, Jigsaw Inventory update 1.3. So we're going to start with the character. So uh, first issue, you can loot um, a player or AI even though they're alive. So um, to fix that, you want to go to the Try Interact here, and you want to add this uh, Jig Can Interact. Um, so this is an interface function uh, found in a loot container AI a character. So uh, in this case, you want to make sure that you can interact first before doing anything else. So this is a uh, client side. So if we go, for example, to the AI here, uh, the main AI class, um, and then we can do can interact, and you can find this uh, Jake can interact here, and we get true or false based on the health. Um, so that's, uh, so it's already handled here. Um, uh, this is where you indicate whether you can uh, interact or not, but in the character, uh, make sure you add this here and the try interact. And if you wanna make sure that the server also um, handles that you can go to the bp jig multiplayer and in server request data uh, this is where when you loot something you call this event you can also add the um, jig can interact here uh, but make sure you add this or uh, because uh, this is also used for uh, requesting your own items uh, and so if it's a main character we don't mind but if it's other, anything other than a main character we want to make sure that we also run through the uh, jig can interact interface here this is of course done server side from the git owner the owner of this component next we have two issues with the reloading so the normal reload and the internal reload uh, so we're we're going to start with the internal uh, reload here um, so you want to go to this section right here uh, where we have this falls right here so and you want to create a an array so you can do uh, add new here local a variable and you want to create a an array of integers and then you want to name it something like exclude indexes so once you do that uh, you want to get the slot index from this right here so if you don't see any options here just select the break uh, node here and on the details panel here you should uh, you should be able to toggle on and off anything you want so we want the slot index here you want uh, we want to add it to this to this exclude indexes so this is for the handle local internal reload this is only an issue when using multiple uh, ammo types um, so if you have a shotgun with like um, three different ammo types uh, all used at once uh, then you're gonna run into this issue right here so uh, this makes sure that we don't add the new item uh, ammo type to an in uh, to a certain index that is already used so just make sure you add this add uh, here you do add and then you add the sort index and then here um, just below here we add a sequence and then we add a for loop with break here um, and then we uh, simply go from 0 to 20 so normally your internal max should be like something like four slots uh, but just make sure here we add it from 0 to 20 and then we simply break as soon as we found uh, we find a slot that is not used and then that's what we're going to use here we set it on uh, in the uh, current index here and that's what we're gonna go here and use it right here. So this is going to be the uh, index where the new ammo type is going to be added on top of the uh, other uh, type. So this is for the internal uh, handle local internal reload. Now for the normal re reload here, the uh, handle local request reload weapon, you wanna go to the right here and uh, and this git hosting slots right here. Normally you have it hooked like this. Uh, but what, we, what you want to do here is you want to get the get vector rotation here. So the issue here was that we weren't taking into consideration the rotation of the uh, mag here, for example. So uh, you want to look for the get vector here uh, and drag it there. And uh, you want to give, uh, give it the item vec uh, vector here and, of, and the rotation as well. So, so it's going to like if it's rotated, it's going to flip the vectors. And that's what we're going to uh, use to clear the slots. Uh, for reloading here one more issue here and in the inside the gsi container look for the highlight slots so the issue here is that some items the non-special containers uh, like a an, a container that has a regular uh, container uh, type and not a special container so uh, the issue is that you can't rotate the item in its place so you keep it in, in the same place but you just simply uh, change the rotation or something like that um, so uh, go here uh, all the way to the right side here and make sure you add uh, make sure your uh, check is like this right here so so you should probably have like supported here so you want to add this or right here with the empty and uh, get hosted equal to so reference here uh, so essentially just make make sure it looks like this and you should be fine uh, finally we're going to go to the character here and um, some um, person said that when you are in first person and then you equip a helmet you can see the helmet 
overlap with your uh, character and that the reason is simply that when you are in first person you want to start so you want to select the head and the uh, ear and eye and anything that could be overlap overlapped with the camera and you want to do the owner owner no see you want to uh, set that to true so by default the owner will not see these um, uh, skeletal meshes right here but uh, once you uh, switch to third person then you um, turn that uh, back uh, back off or like off so you can see your uh, your stuff so these are the issues solved in 1.3 and also I did a previous video where uh, someone said that when you uh, kill an AI the ragdoll animation is not played um, if you are a client basically so the ragdoll animation is not replicated so what you want to do here is you want to uh, even though we discussed this in the previous video but just to make sure open the main um, AI uh, class uh, and have this uh, multicast event so this is MC AI on death and it's a multicast non-reliable um, and then this gets called when the AI is dead so on the event any damage we go here do once stop the logic and then call this MC on uh, AI on death and this uh, this of course plays the ragdoll on everybody and um, we combo this multicast with a rep notify so we simply have this uh, if you click find references there this is just simply the uh, since the health is a on rep notify so if if the health is uh, equal to zero then we call the rep notify here and we simply do the same thing and this is controlled by this do one so you want to uh, you want to do the same thing for the character as well for the replication of the ragdoll um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the, for 1.3. If you find any issues, just let me know. You can let me know on YouTube or Discord. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you later. Goodbye.